Ah, oh, looks like we're gonna have to figure this out. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Today we've got a car in the shop and we're having an issue with one of the windows. What we've come to notice is as you're driving it down the road, we get this strange rattling noise. Okay, so real quick what I want to mention is on our vehicle that we have inside the studio, we have a manual crank window, which essentially means I have to grab onto this thing to make the window go up or even down. A lot of times on newer vehicles, what you're gonna find is they have electrical, well, pretty much everything inside of them. So the window is pretty basic. For us, we have this, so I'm gonna show you how to get it apart. What we need to do first is to, of course, get this door panel off of here. To do that, if you have a manual crank window like this, you're gonna have to go ahead and remove the clip that's underneath there. I'm just gonna use a little pick and I'm gonna come underneath and I'm gonna try to grab onto one of the ears. Once I have this off, I'll show you what it looks like. There we are. Now that that's off of here, we need to talk about mounting bolts. Typically, there's gonna be some bolts that are gonna hold the door panel to the actual door itself. Generally, you're gonna find it inside of a grab handle, somewhere right along here. Typically, behind this handle right here, you're gonna find a little trap door with another one, and there might even be some more located around the bottom or even along the sides of the door panel. Typically, if you don't see any bolts going around the side panel like this, that generally means that you're just gonna go ahead and pry this off of there. If you can grab by your fingers, or maybe even a nice plastic trim tool that looks like this, you can wedge it in there and just kind of break it free. We're gonna go around the whole door panel and get this right off of here. Behind that panel, you're gonna have a vapor barrier. Go ahead and peel that out of the way as well so we have a nice clear view of where our window regulator is gonna be. So now the next thing that we wanna do is just test to see what's actually going on with this window regulator while we have a nice wide open view. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab onto the window and I'm gonna carefully shake it around. Essentially what I wanna be paying attention to is the areas on the metal parts where the window regulator is and see how much movement they have. As you can tell, this has quite a bit of movement. I can lift the window up and down without even moving the handle right here. That's telling me that there's definitely an issue. So now wiggling around the window, what we wanna pay attention to is the area where the window connects onto the metal part of the window regulator. Make sure that that bolt right there is tight. You're gonna notice that there's a second one typically behind the door someplace, but there's, if there's one, there's gonna be a second. You also wanna pay attention to the areas where the pivot points are and just see as, if it looks as though there's a lot of movement. A teeny bit like that is very normal. This looks good. After this, what we'd wanna do is of course, check the channels themselves. We wanna make sure that the channels aren't loose in any way. You can usually grab onto them, give them a nice wiggle. Typically they might have a mounting bolt or something like that that might hold them in their place. If that mounting bolt got loose or came off, then of course the channel could move, in which case you'd probably have a lot of wiggle with your window as well. So now typically what I would wanna do is stick something behind there, either a mirror or maybe even your cell phone, take a little video, but essentially take a peek at what's going on back there. And of course you can carefully move this crank. You just wanna be careful not to lower it down on yourself in case of any pinch points. As I do this, what I wanna do is pay attention to see what's moving back there. Typically if you've got movement like this, you're not gonna see the big cog that's behind there moving because that's obviously part of the window regulator. Okay, so now let's just pay attention to the handle as we go ahead and grab onto the window and start lifting it up and down. This window moves up and down a lot before the handle even moves a tiny bit. This is telling me that there's an issue with the window regulator, especially where I can see the window regulator right here moving up and down, but the handle is not. Okay, friends, so this was a super easy diagnosis. We just went ahead and took off that door panel. We saw what was going on behind there. I used a cell phone, honestly. I can get back there nice and easy and see exactly what's happening. This came down to we're gonna have to replace the window regulator. Hopefully you learned a little something along the way. I know I did. I've got a job to do. I'm gonna get right to it. If you like the video, smash on the like button for me. It would mean the world. While you're at it, subscribe, ring the bell. That way there you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks.